Arthur Morgan is the most compelling character I've ever had the genuine pleasure to grow with. Never in my life has a fictional character even come close to the impact this man has had over me. In a world where the age of old is steadily dying, Arthur Morgan is among the last of them caught between the clash of worlds. I had never cried playing a video game before, but the story Arthur experiences, the awakening of goodness within him and the vastly better person he becomes by the end of the game had me bawling my eyes out. Amidst all of this chaos, betrayal, heartbreak and violence stands one man unshaken. Our agency in his actions can dictate whether or not we want him to be a good man, but at the heart of it all is the promise that Arthur can be better. His morality throughout the game is represented on a spiritual level via either a buck or a wolf, depending on how you play. Each monumental decision you make and each new chapter will see one of these two figures serve as a reflection of Arthur's soul. The turning point of the game is when Arthur is faced with his own morality. He's hit with this debilitating realisation that his time is short and the age of his ways are steadily changing. There is less and less outlaws as this new world order is slowly established. The strong bonds that once kept the gang together through thick and thin are now riddled with deceit and a misplaced sense of loyalty. Arthur is faced with the realisation that the man that he would look up to and believe in was corrupted, insincere and slowly falling apart at the seams. This wasn't the same man he once was. He was a scared and unhinged shell of himself. We can see how that desperation reveals their true ugly nature and we see Arthur slowly lose faith in the gang. Arthur has to make that choice to be loyal to what matters. He has to sacrifice some of that loyalty and devotion he once had to his father figure for the benefit of the people who genuinely deserve it. He's cornered and there's no way out of this for him, but the thing that he fears most isn't this danger, but the time he has left. He's scared that he will die a bad man. What am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Help him makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. The entire plot revolving around Rain's fall and his son serve as an exceptional perspective into Arthur's own problems. These people are being forced out of their home, their time is at an end and they must remain together if they are to survive. It is within their compassion does Arthur find this sense of redemption, he can see that he's been a bad man, but if he takes a chance and does a loving act then he might be able to forgive himself and be better. Honestly, this kind of storytelling is like no other. When you spend over 100 hours with this character, he becomes a person you can believe in. He becomes a vessel to imprint your own values into because you can see this struggle within him and you can see that he's lost. Wanting to guide him to find himself and to believe he is a good man is what gives the player real purpose. We no longer care about the grand plan to escape, but we care about Arthur. At the end of all of it, he is just a man trying to find his place and it is the most heartbreaking thing this story has to offer and I insist that everyone should have this experience.